We're Texas CASA, and we're working with visionary thinkers to explore issues in the foster care system that need fixing and propose solutions. This is The Fix. The child welfare system's origins were in the faith community. Years ago, before there was an organized system, it was the community of faith that cared for children and families in need. Families coming together to help other families is ingrained in the DNA of people of faith. As systems developed, some of these personal connections that promoted a sense of normalcy for children and families deteriorated. This sense of community care for those in need still lives on with people of faith. We need only to tap into it as an extensive resource. Every faith has a universal calling to care for the vulnerable. So we should consider faith communities one of our most valuable assets in addressing foster care issues. Often what it takes is simply to make a congregation aware of the need in their community, such as sharing the numbers of children involved in foster care. We can start by building connections that are meaningful to our particular faith community. While it may seem overwhelming for a church, mosque, temple, or synagogue to meet all the needs in the foster care crisis, they can wrap their arms around caring for one child or one family that has been impacted by foster care system involvement. It takes time to develop a quality relationship, but it can yield amazing results. Someone who's interested in partnering with the faith community needs to develop an understanding of their unique culture. This may include attending worship services or events with no intention of receiving something in return. A community of faith, particularly those who are BIPOC, may be leery of engaging with someone who they think is from the state because of historical systemic oppression. But commitment to true partnership can provide a meaningful opportunity to connect with these historically marginalized groups. For example, there is a disproportionate number of African-American children in the foster care system as compared to the general population. By reaching out to the Black church and forming a mutually beneficial relationship, we can help to address this issue directly. Recruiting foster families, CASA volunteers, and mentors that children in foster care can best identify with. This connection to family and culture prevents children from lingering in foster care too long. A faith community can use its resources to develop a ministry to serve targeted needs. For example, an established ministry in Midland provides meals for kinship placements and foster homes, prays for children by name who are in foster care, provides a foster parent support group, and is planning to offer respite care or babysitting for children in foster care. This ministry emerged when a church member and community leader took the time to research and understand the needs of this congregation, rather than telling them what she thought they needed. If we look to faith groups as experts in community building, we can reinvigorate lasting connections for families and youth that prevent future foster care system involvement for generations to come. And that's The Fix.